our way. So happy you made it to the gym. Grab a towel. Grab some water. Get ready to sweat. You know what time it is. It's time to warm up. And yes, I asked Vince to come back because I enjoyed yoga <laughs> so much last week. So we are here for round two. Yoga with Spence. Let them know where to follow you. Hey y'all, I am Miss Spence. You can find me on Instagram at M-S-S-P-E-N-S, Miss Spence. You can find me at Push Fitness at 10 o'clock on Sundays. Um, so yeah, come do some yoga with me, Yoga with Spence. I'll see y'all at Push Fitness at 10 o'clock. All right, Spence, well, let's get started. All righty, so we're gonna get started in a comfortable seat. So for you, that may be your legs crossed. You can have your legs out in front of you. And we're gonna get started with just a gentle warm up. You could do this before you get started with your day in the morning or before you go to bed, all right? So we're gonna first check in with ourselves, check in with the breath. So I'm going to encourage you if you're sitting, whether your legs are crossed or they're out in front of you, that you're sitting nice and tall. Shoulders are stacked over hips. And I'm gonna invite you to lower your gaze or close your eyes completely. As we take a moment to check in with our breath, noticing how we feel right now in our bodies, noticing any areas of tightness, beginning to relax and release the muscles in our jaw and our shoulders. And we're gonna do a breathing technique called box breathing. And so I'm gonna count you through these breaths. If you fall out, no worries, just jump back in, okay? So we're gonna inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Let your breath return back to its natural rhythm. Fully inhaling through the belly and letting go. Maybe flutter your eyes open, taking back this new consciousness in this space. And on your next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up, maybe even look up. Exhale, we're gonna float them down, tucking in the chin. Inhaling, reaching the hands back up, maybe even look up smiling. Exhale, tucking the chin, bringing the hands back down. We're gonna inhale the hands. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna place that left hand down beside us, leaning over with the right. So you have options to walk that right hand out further. You can always bring that right elbow down or you don't go back to what feels good. So find your edge, looking up. And if that is too much for the neck, you can always look down. But breathing here, opening up the left side body. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, engage the core, reach back up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna bring that left hand down. And again, you may walk the hand out. You could also bring the elbow down as you reach over with the right. So find the pose that's really going to suit you. Doesn't have to look like mine. Remember to breathe, that's the most important. Opening up the right side body here. One more breath. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna reach our hands back up. Exhale, floating them down. Great, we're gonna take our legs out long. Toes are flexed, so we're pointing them towards the ceiling. All right, and then we're gonna take that right leg and we're just simply gonna cross it over the left. 
We're gonna take our right hand and grab the outside of the knee and bring the left arm out in front of us. So we wanna be looking at the thumb. We're gonna be tracking the thumb. So as we inhale, we're gonna open that left arm all the way out. Maybe it comes behind us. So go as far as you can. And then where you meet your edge, bring that hand down to the mat. Mm -hmm. Looking over the left shoulder. Now you can always have the option of bringing that right elbow to the inside of the knee. Mm -hmm. Still looking over the shoulder, flexing those left toes and breathing. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, we're gonna turn back around slowly. We're gonna take this right foot and we're gonna bring it to the inside of the left leg. All right, we're gonna take our hands to frame that extended leg. All right, sitting nice and tall, shoulders stacked over the hips. As we inhale, elongating the spine. And as we exhale, we're just gonna start to walk the hands towards the foot. And maybe you're able to grab an ankle or toe, all right? But wherever you're able to grab, bend the elbows. That's gonna bring your torso closer to the leg. And wherever you choose to be, breathe here. Inhaling through the nose. And an option to side it out. Inhaling, creating space in the body. Exhaling, melting and releasing. One more breath. And on your next exhale, walk the hands back to your body. Go ahead, send the legs out long, give them a little wiggle. And so as we know, what we do to one side, we must do to the other, all right? So we're gonna do all that on the other side. So now we're gonna take the left leg and we're gonna cross it over the right, making sure those right toes are bend and flex towards the ceiling. We're gonna take the left hand and just hold on to the knee as we extend the right hand in front of us. Make sure we can look at that thumb because we're going to track it. So as we inhale, start to open up that right arm behind you and go to where you meet your edge and then place the hand on the mat. And so in this twist, you have the option to stay here or ha perhaps you bring that left elbow to the inside of the knee. And that's gonna help you twist a little deeper. Breathing here. <sighs> One more breath. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna come back forward. And we're gonna take that foot, and now we're going to bring it to the inside of the right thigh. So let that knee go long. We're gonna bring the hands to frame the extended leg. And we're just gonna sit nice and tall first. As we inhale, elongating the spine. And then on your exhale, start to walk the hands up the leg towards maybe your pant leg. You could grab an ankle or a toe. Wherever you are, make sure you're flexing the feet still. And using the exhale to melt. Using the inhale to create space. And the exhale to let go. One more breath here. Hmm. And then as we inhale, start to walk the hands to your body. We're gonna take the legs, we're gonna swing them behind us, and we're gonna take a tabletop. So in our tabletop, making sure our wrists are in line with our shoulders, our hips are over our knees, and we're gonna do a few rounds of cat-cow here. So fingers are spread wide, pressing into the tips of the fingers. As we inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, look up. And as we exhale, begin to round the spine, tucking in the chin, look between the thighs, beautiful. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, look between the thighs. And so we'll do this a few more times at our own pace, using the breath to move us in and out. Inhaling, looking up. Exhaling between the thighs. A few more breaths here.
And the next time you take an exhale, go ahead and send the hips back into a child's pose. <sighs> and that is gonna complete our warm up for today. Thank you. Be sure to follow Iris in the City on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Live, love, laugh, and dance with Iris in the City. We are so excited for this new season. All right, welcome back. We're here for our warm up. We are super excited that you came to the gym with us. As you can see, I got my billionaire body buddy Shanita with me. And we are doing a best friend workout. So grab your best friend, grab your boyfriend, grab your husband, grab your granny. I don't care. But hold hands and get started with these butt kicks with us. So we have 30 seconds on the clock. Let's roll, Shanita. You ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Woo! Feeling good. So we're holding hands so that she can hold me up when I'm feeling weak. And I can hold her up when she's, when she's feeling weak. We know that working out sometimes feels good when you have an accountability partner. So we're just holding each other accountable today. Five more seconds for butt kicks. Then we're gonna switch to our high knees. Bring them up, Shanita. Perfect. Woo! Breathe. Let it out. Scream. Stop. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to get through this last 15 seconds. Perfect. Great job, way to stay up, way to stay into it. I see you on that side of the camera. Five more seconds. Perfect, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, great job, Shanita. Way to keep up. <laughs> and we're gonna go down into our jump squat. So we're here, legs close together. We're just gonna pop out and pop back in. We're gonna stay low the entire time, okay? So we're down here and pop out. Perfect. 30 seconds. That's right, breathe. How you feeling on that side of the camera? Hope you're feeling as good as me, because I am feeling great. How you feeling, Shanita? Knees. Oh, wow, good knees, good knees. We got it. 10 more seconds. And one. Way to work through that with your partner. Grab some water. We're going to hit the ground. This is the day you have waited for. The day you have spent hours planning. This is the day that everyone has come to see you, your family, your friends. This is the day that you won't be able to see until it's over. Cinematic Bounds Film specializes in capturing every moment to the smallest detail. When you book us, you will get to relive this day and see moments you miss and moments that you want to relive over and over and over again. Book us today. Cinematic Bounds Film. Okay, Shanita, you still you still in it with me? We yeah. still together? I got a partner? Yeah. All right, well, we're going down to the ground. We're going to start off with some planks. So you guys want to make sure you get in plank position and you want to make sure you're facing your partner, okay? And there we go. We made it. Perfect. You got your butt down, back straight. Breathe and roll. So we are up, tapping hands. 30 seconds. And go. Take your time. Stay at your partner's pace. It's okay to take it slow. 20 more seconds. Great job, Tanita. You're an awesome partner. You are too. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Remember to always walk up your plank. Perfect, great job guys. All right, so now we're down for exercise number two. Okay, so we are going back down into that plank position. And this time we are going to just hit opposite knee, opposite elbow. So you're just looking your partner in the eye, you're motivating them through this exercise. So we are walking down back into our plank. Bringing your opposite knee to your opposite elbow and we're up. Awesome, great job, Shanita, way to work.
20 more seconds. How you feel? Feel good. Ah. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and walk it up, walk it up, walk it up. Great job, great job, great job. Way to work. How you feel? We're almost there. One more exercise. Let's get to it. This time you're gonna sit on your bottom, okay? So this is gonna feel like a sit up. So you're going to lay back and sit up and tap your partner's hands, okay? So we're gonna start off with our hand tap and down. Perfect, 30 seconds. Twenty more seconds. Great job, Sunita. Way to work. How you feeling on that side of the camera? You and your partner doing okay? Fifteen more seconds. Great job, Sunita. You got to push through, Mama. Why we here? New body on the way. Remember that. Always find your why. And when you're ready to give up, think of why you're working on your new body. Is it a wedding? Is it a birthday? Do you just want to feel good naked? It's okay. Five more seconds to need a five, four, three, two, and relax. We're not going to pass out. We're going to sit up. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> Great job, Sunita. I appreciate you for working out with me today. You guys just got in a great sweat. The billionaire way. See you next week. So decided to come back one more time for me back in the kitchen to cook lunch the billionaire way so I'm super excited I don't know what we're having today I'll let him tell you guys what's for lunch oh yes yes today we are doing a trout wrap okay so we got a nice spinach garden uh, wrap here we're gonna throw a little bit of rice in there and kind of kick it up a little bit so I'll show you how we do that a little bit later Awesome, awesome. Well, y'all know how I do. I'm gonna step out while he do his chef thing, but I'll be back to take a test, okay? All right, Leslie, for <laughs> sure. All right, so let's get started, y'all. So, again, the first thing that we want to do is we want to lather up our trout. So we're gonna throw some uh, Italian salad dressing on that, and then we're going to season it up. We're gonna do the same thing. Goya, adobo. So we're gonna do just a little bit on one, to one side, a little bit on the other side. Put that on one side, season that on the other side. It's all free seasoning. So I'm actually gonna chop this up in squares. Small little squares. Right to the side. I'm gonna chop this in square so it cooks a little faster. All right, so while our pan is heating up, what we can do is we can put the fillings in our wrap. So when I make a wrap, I like to do uh, white rice. All right, so I'm just gonna get just a matter of fact, a little bit of white rice. It's a little scoop. You don't wanna put too much. So that's, that's probably enough rice for our wrap. Um, cherry tomatoes, you can do regular tomatoes, chop them up. I like cherry tomatoes just because, you know, they fit better um, in the wrap. So I like to divide that evenly, okay? Then I'm going to get a few of our red onions. Not too many of these, just a few. We're gonna get our lettuce. down there. I'm going to do our avocado. I usually put about two or three strips. I'm going to put three this time. 
All right, looks like our cast iron skillet is hot enough. As you can see, it's kind of smoking a little bit. So I kind of turned the heat down a little bit because the pan is hot enough. Um, so now we're going to drop our chopped trout in here. I'm just going to even these out, make sure each one is nice and cooked on all sides. Alright, let's one more minute and then that's going to be ready. Alright, so I'm going to turn this heat off. So it looks like our trout, our chopped chow cooked cubes are ready. Keep these up. Put these on our wrap. Kind of mush it down a little bit. We're ready for our sauce, so I'm gonna just kind of lightly drizzle this over our wrap. Now we're gonna wrap this up. So actually we're gonna bring this a little bit closer, everything a little bit closer. Push this in, okay? It's real important that you kind of tuck it real tight. Make sure you get each side in there. Fold these, these sides down. It's really important to get this as tight as you can because that's how you kind of keep everything all together in there. What I like to do is sometimes I like to throw it back on the grill. Uh, actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're gonna throw this back on the grill just to you know make sure it's, it's nice and uh, tight together. So we're gonna throw that back on the grill. Slice our wrap half. Okay, there you have it. We have a spicy trout wrap with rice and avocado. Ooh, lunch is ready. Lunch is ready. Lunch is ready. Awesome. Yes, so yes. a trout yes, wrap. Yeah, we got a trout wrap. We got some rice in there, some cherry tomatoes, avocado. Uh, and then we have some spicy uh, gocha young sauce that I liked in there. It's got a kind of sweet kick to it. You like it. Hey, let me see. So I'm just gonna, try it out. I'm a dipper. I don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see. 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 You never cease to amaze me, Chef. That's <laughs> thank you, thank wonderful. you. Wonderful. Glad you enjoyed. If you guys have not, please tap in with Chef Milioso on Instagram. Absolutely. Book him for your private dinners, any catered events you may need. Uh, what else? Meal prep. Meal prep. Yes, Absolutely. please tap in, Chef yes. Milioso. Thanks for lunch. Thank you as well. Thank you for having me. I'm gonna go enjoy the billionaire way. <laughs> Today's money moment is simple: life insurance. It's a way to leave generational wealth for your family. It's a way to make sure that once you've passed on, they're not left in shambles. Death is something that's tough for us to speak about. We don't like to think about the unknown, but it's very important that we get in gear and we get ready for those moments. So I encourage every viewer today to look into life insurance, not just for you, but for the family you're gonna leave behind. Build generational wealth, the billionaire way. Be sure to follow Iris in the City on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Live, love, laugh, and dance with Iris in the City. We are so excited for this new season. Here's a mental note for your fitness journey. 
it's okay to rest. Rest days are super important. I want you to know, do not overexert yourself. Make sure you're giving your muscles the proper rest time. Remember, anything worth having is worth working for. There's no quick fixes here. So work for it. Let's do it the billionaire way. Okay. Yeah. Be sure to add this next yeah, artist yeah, yeah. to your workout playlist. I walk in the bitch like a sergeant. They get a salute. Yeah. I see all the at the bar. I get the recruit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One far move. They get the shoot. How my nigga gon' step? Yeah. How my nigga gon' step? Yeah. Just like uh, right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left. Right left, how my gon' step? How my gon' step? Yeah, suited and booted. Platoon full of ruins, your troop looking goofy. Sipping on brown, got my liver polluted. Playing my music, now they get groovy. Watch how you moving. Look, I got it on me, itching to use it. Call me Spike 3, <laughs> directing the scene, I just point and he shoot it. I'm from St. Louis, 314 reasons I ain't losing. I'm getting bougie, I'm bothered at the end of our dollars ain't moving. General Sergeant, El Capitan, they with my command. Cause you saying, we stepping on, you looting it. I walk in the like a sergeant, they get the salute. I see all the at the bar, I get the recruit. Whoa, 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 one far move, they get the shoot. How my gon' step? How my gon' step? Just like uh, right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left, right left. How my gon' step? How my gon' step? A ten hut bout the bucks counting up like my prezzy's about face. I'm on the line most of the time. I'm drunk and high and it's about face. Deploy my missile, get my issue. Left, right, back on mission. Yeah. Sniper vision, all I see is green. We up, scope, but not the scene. I peep all you peons. On that girl, you be rough and you come down, you Leon. You know what I be on. Don't pay no attention, it's paying me nothing. Nah. Be online, lion. Yeah. Like, I'm going from Urkel to Stefan. Yeah. This get your life, I be dying. Yeah. Crying. I walk in the bitch like a sergeant. They get the salute. Yeah. I see all the bitch at the bar. I get the recruit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One far move. They get the shoot. How my nigga gon' step? Yeah. How my nigga gon' step? Yeah. Just like uh, right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left, right left, step. Right left, right left, right left. How my nigga gon' step? How my nigga gon' step?